in the last one we set up our uh, our kind of uh, what do you, I guess what do you call it your timestamp difference so it it tells us at the bottom how long ago that post was posted now in this one what I want to do is start setting up the Firebase stuff and if we have time we can get the query because what basically what we need is we need to we have the photo so we need to use the photo I, or the the user ID that's attached to the photo and we need to retrieve the profile image so that we can display it up here and also the name of the user which is up here because right now this is just hard coded in in the layout so we need to get the user ID from the photo and then use that to query the database and retrieve the username and also the profile picture so we're, that's what I want to work on in this one so let's go to the very top and let's start actually declaring all of our Firebase stuff that we need and actually instead of doing that I'm just going to copy it from something else which is there's probably one in profile fragment at the very top all that good Firebase stuff I'm not sure if we need it all yet but I'm just going to grab everything and I'm, gonna I'm just going to remove what we don't need so I'm going to grab all the Firebase stuff go back to view post and like always let's post it at the very bottom and we can get rid of all the methods. We aren't going to need the add value event listener, so we can just delete that. And that all looks cool. So that'll set up our basic Firebase needs that we need. And I don't want to forget to call that method, so I'll just do setup Firebase auth. And that was really easy. So all we okay. So all we need to do is we first of all need to get the username and the profile, the image URL, I guess. So private string username and private string m profile profile URL I guess we can call it and those will be nothing to start why is this angry oh um, I guess photo photo username and the photo URL we'll do that and so now we, we're gonna use a query to get those things so let's, where are we going to put this? Maybe uh, private void get photo details, we can call it. That kind of makes sense. And so we need to do our basic query stuff that we've done in the past. I can't remember where we used the query last, but we can probably just copy most of it right here. So in our profile fragment, we did this query right here. So I'm just going to copy everything from, oops, everything from the database reference here all the way down including the on cancelled up to this semicolon right here. So we're, we're including everything that the query has, including the database reference. I'm just going to copy all that. I'm going to go back to view post fragment and paste it in there. And I'm going to delete a whole bunch of stuff. So to basically look for everything that's red, just delete it. Delete, 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 delete. All the way up to there. So that all we have left is on data change, a loop that goes through the data snapshot, and that's it. And we'll need to change our query here because right now we're going to be looking in the the node user photos, which is not where we want to look. We actually want to look in the user account settings node, and then we want to change this reference also, where this is going to be get string r dot string, and we want to look for that user ID. So field field user ID. I don't even have that, so I'm just going to type that, and we're going to uh, create a new string resource. So I'm going to copy this field uh, user ID go down to values, strings, and let's see here. So I'm just going to paste that in there. I'm going to copy this whole line and cut and field user ID. And then this is just going to be user underscore ID and I can delete that one. So now we have a new field user, user ID for our user ID variable inside of our Firebase database. Now let's go back. Oh, this actually needs to be order by child, so order by child, and then we do that. And then we want to look for the value, so we do equal to, and we use our photo that we have from, uh, that we've already gotten from our bundle, and then we do get user ID. So now what this is going to do is it's going to look in the user account settings node, it's going to look for the field name user ID, and it's going to look for a match where it matches the user ID that the photo has. And now I'm going to create a global variable up at the top here. Uh, so private and it's going to be a user account settings variable and I'll just call it user account settings or m user account settings and then we're going to go down here and if a match is found that's going to be our user account settings so we just do get value user account settings dot class and then get actually that's it just that and that will get the user's account settings for that that particular photo 
And now moving forward, we want to make sure that that user ID gets added to that node so that we don't have to do it manually. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the project pane, go to models, go to user account settings, and we need to change this to include a user ID field. So do private string user underscore ID, and I'm going to close the pane, and let's I'm going to delete this constructor, and then do alt insert, and get all the fields again, and let's space this out better here. There we go, and we're going to need to add a new getter and setter method for oops, new getter and setter method for that new field. There we go. So now the user account settings objects will have that new user ID field. And so we, now we need to go into wherever that's going to be inserted. And the only time it's going to be inserted is when we create a new user. So when we create a new user, we go into Firebase methods and we look for the method, see right here, add new user. Now this is going to include a new field for the user ID. So we just got to do a comma and put the user ID and that's it. And now let's look for any other time. So I'm looking over on the side here where all this red is. So I'm just going to scroll up and make sure that it's not doing the exact same thing because I can't remember exactly if there was any other locations where we created a user account settings object. And I'm sure there is in other classes, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it and the errors will uh, become visible to me. So I'm just going to run this. Okay, it looks like it compiled and ran successfully, which is good. That means there's no other locations where we created a user account, user account settings object and used the default constructor, so that's great. Now every time we create a new user, they'll have that new field with that user ID. And that means that our query is going to work exactly the way we need it to. So now that our query has successfully got our user account settings object, we can go down into our setup widgets method and we can actually start setting those fields that we were searching for. So let's use the universal image loader to set the profile image. So we just go user account settings and then get profile photo and Let's see, what was the prof profile image was the widget and null for the progress bar and then just blank for append. And then we also want to be able to set the username. So just go username, set text, and once again, our we want to use our user account settings and get username. Okay, cool. So now let's run it and take a look and see if it's successfully setting the username and setting the profile image to our post. Okay, let's go to the profile. Hopefully we can do this before Visor plays an ad, because I think it's going to play an ad in a second here. Oh, there's that ad. Okay, let's go to the profile and choose an image. And we get a crash. Alright, let's check out the old Android monitor and see what happened here. Looks like the universal image loader is looping, constantly trying to set an image. File not found exception. I believe this is happening because we called it maybe before it was ready so let's go up here and yeah so we're using get photo details bef after setup widgets which is not what we want we want to get our account settings first and then use setup widgets maybe easy, even as of right now we can comment this out comment out setup widgets and actually put this inside of our query so that we know that's not going to get run until our query is finished all right so let's run the app and take a look Okay, and head over to the profile. And there we go. So now we have Mitch's profile picture showing up in the top right, in the top left here, and also his uh, username right here. So it looks like everything is working as it's supposed to. All right, so that's good. Uh, in the next one, I actually want to fix a few little small mistakes, or a few issues, I guess I should say. So if you go to the share screen here, I think a few of you were having problems uh, loading images from some directories. Uh, like for example, if you had no images on the phone or on the emulator or whatever, you weren't actually able to load them and it looks like um, mine is loading. But if you say for example you weren't, you see that that's one issue too right here is the uh, images are rotated and another one is going to be if you don't have any images the app will actually crash. So I'm going to show you how to fix that and also we're going to go over how to rotate these images correctly. So I'll see you in the next video.